Hey guys, Multi Game Master One reporting in, and welcome back to my 100% Let's Play of Banjo Kazooie. In the last part, we completed everything in Clanker's Cavern, and in this episode, we're going to advance up Grunty's Lair by getting past this note door, which requires requires 180 notes. We have 300, so we can keep going. Now, if we come to this room, we have once again Grunty showing off with that giant statue figurine of herself. I don't know what's with Grunty. It's like she's trying to just mirror how beautiful she is, quote unquote. My lazy sister often sleeps on a pile of treasure. The dirty hag. I don't know what's so dirty about a pile of treasure. The only thing she's ever won was the biggest butt competition at witch school. I don't find that hard to believe. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, sitting on her broomstick. Okay, I don't see how any of that is disturbing or disgusting, but thank you, Brentilda. I'll be sure to keep those in mind. Anyway, um, right here we have a monster figurine and Grunty. My filthy bag. Oh wait, I read this already. Yeah, sometimes Grunty will repeat the same thing that she's said before. So, if you see the same thing, you don't have to worry about memorizing it. Or not memorizing it, but reading it. My fat old sister's favorite sport is belly barging. Hmm. Although she's dim, she attended St. Dungball School. Hmm, something odd about that name. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. Oh boy. That seems very explosive. If you guys get what I mean. Anyway, in this pipe, we have some boots. Hey, keep your feet out. You can't use us until you've spoken to bottles. Okay, so once again, we're going to have to find bottles before we can use those boots. And one thing to note about the water in this area is this. It's infested with piranhas. This is piranha water. Keep your smelly feet out. So as you guys can see, if you step foot in the piranha infested waters, then you will take one hit of damage. So be sure to keep out of the water at all times. Meanwhile, in this area, we're going to explore our next level, the Bubble Gloop Swamp. So let's get started. Keep your eyes open for your new move, beak face. I see what bottles did there. And here's bottles. Not so hard to find. These are the waiting boots. Chicken Legs wears them, so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, Chicken, uh, Kazooie. Let's go grab a pair. Great! Now you know all of the swamp's new moves. That's the one move that you have to learn from Bottles for this area, so thanks for teaching us that, Bottles, and I, for some reason I keep getting hit by these frog creatures. Anyway, here we have a creature. There I go again saying the word anyway. We have a creature here. I think it's a cro Croctus, and it seems to be opening mouth. It's both its mouth for some reason. Yummy, Croctus like that. Okay, I was right. So you feed it an egg, and it's satisfied, and we have another one out in the swamp. Me want yummy egg too. So we have to go out and find it. And while we're exploring this area, there are a bunch of things to collect around here, such as these feathers and notes and eggs. And plenty of places to climb on as well. Anyway, I can now demonstrate to you guys the wave boots. And if I say the word anyway one more time, I swear, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll do something to make sure not to say it again. <clears throat> so the way boots will let you wander in swampy waters and Here's a ginger right here One down and four left of course you guys already know this by now and Certain logs such as those will contain items such as gold feathers in them. Are we good on eggs? Yes, we're good on eggs Okay Let's keep navigating through the swamp and we seem to have a jiggy shaped switch here Slamming on the switch activates the Jiggy, which we can easily get. 
I guess I spoke too soon because it's not as easy as one would think. We have 45 seconds in order to grab it, so I'm going to rush right along to get the Jiggy before it disappears. And I'm pretty sure that I could get it with just the talent trot alone if the camera will cooperate with me. And so far... Alright! One successful attempt with the talent trot. So there were a couple of things that we passed along the way, such as that Croctus over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go towards it in order to feed it an egg. One for you. And another croc this appears in the swamp. Elsewhere, that is. Let's see, other objects that we pass are those eggs over there and that mumble token. And one last object that we pass, well maybe not object, but kind of collectible thing, is a Jinjo. Right there. Okay, so which way should we go from here? How about we go to the left and see what's over here? And let's see, looking at my timer on my stopwatch on my phone, we're six minutes into the recording, so it's pretty early. We're gonna keep going from here. Inside these logs, we have some wave boots, which we can use to get those notes over there. Of course, not to spoil things, but there will be another way in which you can safely cross the swamp and also be able to, um, you know, pretty much just navigate your way through the swamp without being bitten by the piranha plant. Piranha, did I just say piranha plants? I meant to say piranha fish. I keep thinking about Mario. Anyway, before I get off topic, here we have a giant egg. You just want to whack the sections on it that are marked with an X. And if you do it five times, you'll get another Jiggy. So right now we have a total of two Jiggies, and a way that we can get back is using this lily pad. I don't know if I said that clearly. Lily pad. There, I think I may have said that clearly enough. And we're potentially done with this area, so we can move on. Let's go straight ahead. And we seem to have a group of logs in ahead. Looks safe, right? Wrong. Err, an ugly hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. So we're being swarmed by all of these golden flippets, I think they are. And in order to get a jiggy from them, we have to defeat them all. They're a lot stronger than the red ones that we've seen. So it's gonna take me a while to finish them all off, but not too long. I believe we have two left from here. I keep taking hits. You need to die! Thank you. Blub, you're too tough for us, Flibbits. Take our gold. Ah, oh, once again, I was right. That was worth Flibbits. Anyway, here's the Jiggy after defeating them all. And I swear I said that word anyway again. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I'm gonna... <laughs> After recording is over, I'm gonna work on another word to say besides anyway. I promise. Because I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing me say that. Game after game, episode after episode. Anyway, Wave Boots will allow us to cross the swamp safely, as you guys saw earlier, and I almost got hit by that Buzz Bomb there. The Buzz Bomb is just like a um, long dragonfly. As long as you get out of the way, you won't be hit by it. And of course, I keep taking hits, but the enemies aren't even doing a thing to cause me damage. I mean, it's like, every time I run into them, I take damage. Why can't the enemies just do something to... You know, maybe provoke taking damage. Like, leaping towards you or punching you. I don't get it. But hey, it's a game. Alright, um... Camera, camera, thank you. Anyway, we have some more regions to explore dead ahead, but um, I think we're going to cover those a little later. Stupid buzz bomb die! Thank you. Those buzz bombs are so annoying. Anyway, that region up there that I show you guys, we're going to cover it later. For now, let's just go ahead and make our way back. And let's see, which way should we go? 
How about we go to the left? See what we have over here. We have a bunch of things to collect. But they're mostly in the swamp. In the piranha infested waters, I should say. We can use the wave boots to get these notes for now, but the other stuff we'll have to worry about a little later. There will be a way in which you can squeeze in through tight spaces and pick up those collectibles, but we'll get to it as soon as possible. And I almost got hit by that buzz bomb back there. Those creatures are annoying. Up here we have some more huts to smash, and each one you smash will, re will reveal shock jump disc pads and I'm sorry about that that was my phone I should have silenced it before recording I guess I wasn't thinking clearly anyway that hut revealed a grunty switch will slam on top of it to pretty much destroy the witch's hat on the statue <laughs> I'm pretty sure grunty's not gonna like that of course there's gonna be a lot of other things that she's not going to like for example, the amount of progress that we're making so far. And over here we have another Croctus, what we've seen earlier. And for some reason I got on top of it. Here, take the egg. And the Croctus just moved back in the region that we explored in. We'll cover it soon. And for some reason I'm having trouble getting this Mumble token. There we go. Okay. Moving on, if we make our way to the top of this area and smash this final HUD, we have another Jiggy. So now we have four Jiggies in hand, and that's pretty good. So, we're going to leave this area for now. We'll come back and pick up the other collectibles later. Alright, so over here we have a- oh wait, hold on, before we explore that region, I want to take care of that Croctus back there. At the area with the giant alligator head. And I believe the Croctus was over there, and I see it already. These guys look re really weird. What's weird about them the most are their eyes. I mean, do you see how big and colorful they are? And it kind of looks as though that their eyes are not even open. It's just, it's just kind of weird to me. Let me know what you, what you guys think about them in the comments below. But I personally think that they're really creepy. Anyway, back to this region over here. My control stick was acting up. I'm sorry about that. Ooh, my feet are so numb and cold. Well, that's kind of too bad for you. I mean, could you just do something about it on your own? No? Alright, well I guess we'll have to help you, but we'll get to it in a second. Here we have another Genjo. And some more notes here. And a Croctus that's being guarded by a Buzz Bomb. I'm gonna kill this guy real quick because they are annoying. Really annoying. Final Croctus. We feed it the egg, the Croctuses give us a Jiggy. So to get that Jiggy, you want to make sure that you feed all five of those Croctuses. Now let's see, this turtle said that the feet, that his feet were cold. Let's see what happens if we slam on top of them. Ah, that's a bit better. Let's see what happens if we keep on slamming them. I wonder if he's grunting in pain every time we do that. Anyway, with all four feet slammed on... Mmm, tank tops warm at last. Perhaps you like this... this. Sorry. Anyway, after that, he gives us the Jiggy. And we can now go inside him, through his mouth, and nowhere else. Alright, so here we have some notes. And some tip tops. Seems to be some kind of class going on. I wonder what's happening. Quiet, please. The famous tip top choir will now perform my latest work.
short, isn't it, Shell Boy? We'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. Okay, so now we're in school, the Tip Top School, and basically what we want to do is to copy what we just heard. So it was purple, yellow, and red. To make them sing their note, you have to slam on top of them. Hmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. Alright, so paying attention, concentrating. Okay, I think I got this. I think it was purple, blue, oops, sorry, um, it was this one next. Of course, whenever you get the wrong, uh, whenever you get the wrong note, you can always talk to him to have him refresh your memory. Ah, splendid, you just need one more lesson. Okay, this one is a bit more difficult. If I mess up, just give me a while. Okay, so it was this one, and then this one, and this one, this one, this one, and I think this is the last one. There we go. Magnificent, a true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. And with that, we can take the Jiggy. Of course, you can't get any more Jiggies um, past that point whenever you finish the lessons. So don't bother asking him again. Anyway, I really need to... There I go again saying anyway. Sorry, guys. Anyway. Meanwhile. That's going to be my new word from now on. Meanwhile. I destroyed the hive in order to patch myself up because, well, I needed the health bad, and I'm OCD about preserving my health. So, I think that's everything that we can do for now, so we're going to go ahead and leave the area to let you guys in on a few other things that you can find outside of this area. Of course, we'll come back later and get the other notes and jiggies and honeycomb pieces. Oh, and also the thing about the enemies, whenever you leave the level, um, the baddies will spawn again from the worlds and pretty much just wander around the hub. Alright, so one last thing I want to show you guys, and that'll be it for this episode. To get to the secret, we need these wave boots. To safely navigate our way through the piranha infested water. And now if we go through this tube, shortly we're going to come to a brand new room. That's pretty much like a frozen wasteland. So up here we have a small little iceberg, which we can destroy. But we can't really get inside because the hole is too small for us. But once we find a way to shrink down the size, or at least fit ourselves inside the hole, we'll come back to it at some point. Anyway, right there, we have another picture showing us our next level in the game, Freezes E Peak. So filling in all of the pieces, opens the doorway to Freezes E Peak. Of course, it's quite a ways to go before we can get there. With everything accomplished for this episode, now will be a good time to stop. However, in the next episode, we're going to advance up even further to Grunty's Lair and hopefully get to Freezy's Peak as well as learn the remaining moves from bottles that we have yet to learn. So, until next time, I'm Multigame Master 1. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.